Hi guys, I'm Stephanie, and welcome to my channel. It's the Halloween time, so we are going to talk about Wan Sheng Jie today. So Halloween is Wan Sheng Jie. Remember when I mentioned about whenever there's a festival or there's some sort of day in Chinese, we usually use the character Jie to represent it. So we call it Wan Sheng Jie. Anyway, so <laughs> that's why I've got my cat ears here.、Uh, well, if you want to learn about cat ears, we call it Mao Er Duo. So yeah, I've always find the words Er Duo Ear in Chinese is kind of cute. So it's just pronounced as Er Duo Er Duo. So Mao is the cat. Mardo. So we have several elements that I want to talk about about Wan Sheng Jie. So on、uh, Wan Sheng Jie, there is this famous、uh, trick or treat, right? So in Chinese, we translate it as 不给糖就捣蛋 <laughs> It's a little bit long, right? So 不给 so not give. Ah,、uh, 不给糖 If you are not give out the candy, 就捣蛋 Then we will trick you. So, in Wan Sheng Jie, we play "Don't Give Milk, Don't Give Milk." So you can say that. Also, the famous elements,、um, pumpkin is "Nan Gua," "Nan Gua." Yes, I know. We call it as "Sour Melon." Yes. <laughs> so this is "Nan Gua." Now, if it's carved into this form, so we call it "Nan Gua Dong," "Nan Gua Dong." All right. So we have the bats, which is "Bian Fu." 蝙蝠，蝙蝠 ，and we have the skeleton, ah,、uh, which is 骷髅，骷髅。Now some places they have this zombie parade. <laughs> zombie is 僵尸，僵尸。So if you know the word, ah,、uh, corpse. Um, why am I mentioning these words? Anyway, so that is called 尸体 So 尸 is like the dead form, and 体 is just like a body, you know, 身体 So we have 僵尸、尸体 and 身体 It's a weird combination. I don't know why I'm doing that.、Um, anyway, so what else? We sometimes have the spider, right, and resting in their net. So we call it as 蜘蛛。蜘蛛 and we have 蜘蛛网蜘蛛网 Now, one of the most important thing in Halloween in Western culture is about all those cosplays or costumes. In Chinese, it's fairly easy. We just call them 服装 or 服饰 Alternatively, you could also say, you know, do you like my style today? 造型 We could also use words like that. Let's see what else. Oh, candy! I mentioned that at the very beginning, which is 糖 Sometimes we also say 糖果 to make it, you know, sort of balance it out. I mentioned about we always. Have like two characters to form into a word, so that's pretty much what we are、uh, talked about today. So I hope you all can enjoy a marvelous Halloween. I'm Stephanie, and I'll see you next time. 万圣节快乐！